congratulations on this film. Thank you very um, much. Tell me about your initial meeting with Frances. Uh, what was the initial pitch that she gave you and what wanted you to get involved? In? Well, I, I actually worked with Frances like 10, 12, 15 years, something like that. Yeah, we were, we were uh, children at the oh, time. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I worked with her when I was, yeah, about 10 years ago. And she told me at the time that she was writing, she was thinking about writing something about Emily Bronte. And, uh, and, then, and then 10 years later, I think there was another actor that was uh, attached to do it, and then there was a, con and then I got a phone call, and I'd not, I met Emma beforehand, and so it all sort of came together. And Francis just sent me this like really long letter with the script, and just said, you know, have a read and let me know what you think. And I said, yes, please. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it was, it's yeah, easy as that. it was, it really was. And I, I, Emma and I had met a couple of years prior, and had sort of wanted to find something to do together so so it was sort of a no-brainer fantastic there's an, an amazing ensemble in this in this film and one of the great one of the strange things about covid is you guys got to bubble which you maybe wouldn't have done how was that experience because it, it probably brought you closer together than maybe oh, you would have been in a normal circumstance yeah incredibly fun. i mean i feel like you know last the past couple of years have been so interesting for everyone but to, to be able, I had it on, uh, I did a film for The Lost Daughter as well, where we all went to this island in Greece and all huddled together and we yeah. were there for two months. And this felt quite similar that, you know, we were all in Yorkshire in this house together and creates, you know, it creates such a such an ease and such a bond and, and all of us are still like really close because of it. And I think yeah. hopefully that translates on screen as well. You that know? Lost Daughter posse, shall we say, it's not a bad one to hang out no, with. They were great. They were great. Considering it was a, a bit of a darker <laughs> film, but you know. Um, and for you, uh, for you as well, I mean, what, what drew you to this this character? Because there's a, there's history about a lot of the people, but obviously they're part yeah. of history, so don't know quite as much. Was it an eye-opening experience for you in terms of the guy and the history and, and Emily herself? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I, I didn't, um, I sort of, I'm ashamed to say, like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't go to an English school, so I, I never studied Emily Bronte or anything like that. So I was, you know, it's just such a huge kind of figure in, in, in sort of English literature that, 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 that what I thought what Francis had written was such a fascinating take on it. Um, so it was, it was that, and I think the way she wrote Waitman and, and, and the, the sort of unfolding of the relationship that develops and his sort of, she said, Francis said to me, nothing bad has ever happened to him at the start, and then we can watch his sort of descent. I just thought that was such an interesting thing. So yeah, I was definitely excited to be a part of it. Yeah, and I mean, you've been drawn to some darker things over your career, you've done The Hauntings, Invisible Man, and all this kind of, are you looking forward to something lighter down yeah, the line, definitely. some, some rom-com or something wouldn't down that, the line? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? I did a rom-com last year, just before we shot this which was joyous called mr malcolm's list and i got to play of course it. yeah i got I to that. play fantastic that's so it much was, fun that it film. was fun yeah, that's yeah. so, much so fun, that, that was film. that was nice going to work every day just trying to figure out how you can make someone laugh yeah. which is so much better than <laughs> yeah. all this other stuff but maybe anyway. you'll get a rom-com lead soon oh, no wouldn't that be nice you and someone you and emma maybe <laughs> me and emma yeah, yeah we're gonna transition the world we'll would love french, to see we'll that. do a french film a french <laughs> romantic comedy done hey you never know. In, in, in this world of Barbie films, anything's possible, right? <laughs> anything is possible. <laughs> so let exactly. to get, mate. You too, mate. You as well. Have a good evening. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You